I want to discuss a little bit more about valve choking. I think if you try to visualize the meaning of the equation, it might be misleading. So I try to make a new illustration on how we can understand better the choking phenomena. So here, imagine we have two reservoir. Uh, first one is reservoir with higher pressure. This is a reservoir pressure. And the other one is a container, let's say, with a lower pressure. So we try to transport uh, gas from this uh, reservoir to the receiver. The first condition uh, so that the gas can flow is that the P receiver, PS here, must be lower than PR, okay? So for the sake of example, let's uh, assume that in the beginning, the PS, uh, which is a pressure receiver, is equal to zero, okay? And PR is way higher. So what happened then when at position A here you have a valve, the star, uh, the gas from uh, container from reservoir A will start to move to the receiver here. You see here that. So so next, look at what happened as function of, of time. Okay. So I distinguish with three three zone here as as you can see. So when the time is start, okay, uh, there will be a acceleration of flow from. Uh, the reservoir to the receiver so it will go up 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 and at the same time because you are keep filling the receiver with gas a the pressure in uh, receiver will start to increase 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 and increase as 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 more gas transported from reservoir to the receiver the pressure of the receiver will be equal to uh, will keep increasing so if you do it uh, long enough so the acceleration of pressure here will reach a point where it is a sonic velocity basically this is the v equal to c i call here this is the sonic velocity this is basically the critical condition so at this point okay at, at the, you reach the uh, critical velocity uh, remember that when you cannot achieve uh, velocity above that one i will explain why we cannot we, why this one cannot go further over there so let's let observe what happened to the pressure okay so the pressure at the, re at the receiver will keep increasing increasing and increasing until it reach the critical pressure value so pressure at receiver equal to receiver uh, receiver value so basically when it's reached this point okay now if you proceed the transportation of the gas uh, you will end up with increasing the pressure of the receiver so the pressure of the receiver will be increased and at that point because now now that the pressure in the receiver is higher than the pressure critical pressure you will no longer have the sonic velocity the velocity at point a here will start to decrease it will start to decrease decrease as you exceed the critical pressure uh, in the receiver so uh, so so this is the, the the phenomenon as function of time and then if you keep continuing the transport okay uh, as the uh, pressure of the receive uh, the receiver is approaching the pressure of the reservoir you can expect that now the driving force of the flow which is the, the pressure difference becomes smaller you will have a decrease in uh, velocity here so how to explain this one so uh, remember the definition of the uh, sonic velocity so sonic velocity is we can imagine as a small pressure that move along the fluid uh, as as can illustrate it here so what happened at zone one here so at zone one so you have here a, a potential uh, high velocity at this region and then since you see that here you have no resistance so the ps here is very low and and the gas will say that this one will be able to push the movement of gas that is moving earlier so it will keep pushing 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 and it will then um, uh, appears to be an accelerated pressure so at zone 2 however so since the velocity is the same so this one the the, the movement here is cannot 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 be faster than the movement of the sonic so basically this zone cannot give information to another zone to move faster so it's enough with 
the flow at a constant velocity over time during the zone one as until the pressure reach the critical pressure. So when the pressure reach critical uh, the, the critical value, so now what happened is that since PS is keep increasing, you see that no 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 you cannot keep 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 pushing uh, all the time because now the pressure here is no longer low enough so that you can move as fast as you can. So this is how uh, I think uh, we can uh, visualize what happened during the valve choking. So when you have uh, this kind of uh, phenomena, if you want to know what will be the maximum uh, velocity here, it's very easy. It will be the sonic velocity. Uh, and then the on, what will be the pressure of the receiver to reach uh, uh, the sonic velocity is maximum pressure is the p star here uh, the critical pressure so when the critical pr uh, when the pressure at the receiver is above the critical pressure the velocity here will be less than the sonic velocity so how uh, we can analyze the system so the question is what will be the pressure at any uh, at any point below the critical pressure the velocity here will be the uh, critical velocity which is the sonic velocity but when the pressure in the receiver is above the critical pressure the velocity here will be less than sonic velocity as you as, as we can see in zone 3 in this illustration okay then the question is how can we calculate the velocity okay how can we calculate the velocity uh, at this point how can we calculate the velocity at this point? So you think about this one. We have discussed this uh, when we uh, when I uh, when when I show you about the uh, critical point we imagine that link to the uh, reservoir. Uh, 